today's value, which is 700,000, minus yesterday's value, which is 800,000, all relative to yesterday's value, which is 800,000. Okay? So you can actually see in this case here that the change, uh, or two, the change is 700 minus 800 gives us minus 100,000 euros. So it's actually a decrease, but it's minus 100,000 euros relative to 800,000, which is, I suppose it's minus one divided by eight, uh, gives us a value of, it's, it's minus 0 0.125, okay? So that's the return that we had. It's minus zero one two five, which is a it's a twelve and a half percent decrease in the value of the of the portfolio uh, between twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen. What we're interested in is we're interested in the average. So don't forget this is R one and this is R two here. We're interested in the average return. Now we could just calculate the average of these two values here. Okay, which if we do it would be point three three plus a uh, negative 0 0.125 divided by 2 which would give us that the average was a a 10% on average a 10% increase okay so just keep that in mind okay 10% increase it would be what we would what we would have yeah but look in 2016 in 2015 it was 600,000 euros and today it's 700,000 euros okay so that's the change there yeah 10% increase there with respect to that would be would be 60,000 euros so it would be 660,000 euros okay? so there seems to be something different going on here with respect to the, the arithmetic average so let's calculate this geometric average and don't forget the geometric average let's call it or g bar okay is the returns we add one onto each return so it's going to be one plus or one okay and we multiply it by one plus or two okay so for each return we add one onto it okay and then we get the product of them okay and that's all raised to the power of one nth one how many returns have we got we have two so it's it's a it's raised to the power of a half and then we take one away okay so in our case here this is going to be it's one plus 0 0.33 times 1 plus minus 0 0.125 okay which needs to be raised to the power of a half and then it's minus 1 from all that okay so if you look in here this gives us this is a 1.33 okay and then we have one oh whoops then we have one minus 0 0.125 gives us a value of uh so that's 1.33 is 1 plus 0 0.33 and here we have 1 minus, that gives us uh, 0 0.875, and that needs to be raised to the power of a half. In other words, we need to get the square root of that, minus 1. So let's just do this here. So this is, it's effectively, uh, let's do a bracket here. So it's it's effectively, I'll just maybe put that here so you can actually see it. So it's 1.33 times 0 0.875 five okay which needs to be raised to the power of a half so raised to the power of one divided by two okay that gives us a value of gives us a value of 1.0787 yeah so this is equal to 1.0787 minus one okay which actually gives us a value of 0 0.07 eight seven seven which is effectively a seven percent increase it's positive don't forget okay which gives us on average there was a seven percent increase with respect to with respect to this uh with respect to uh the returns okay so on average we had a seven percent increase and not not what we got earlier on when we when we had a look at the the, arithme the arithmetic average okay guys so once again uh this was jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland and i hope that this video uh dealing with how to calculate the geometric mean rate of return uh it's an example where we actually just have two returns being calculated i hope that this was in some way uh intuitive and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you and thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.